Hello and welcome back. In the previous video, we discussed revisiting your SWOT analysis, understanding your true strength, weaknesses, opportunities, and threats as you move forward in procuring that ideal job. In this video, we're going to concentrate on your present job market value, or known as the acronym PJMV, as well as time allocations. So let's begin. Remember your self-assessment grid evaluation? That's the grid where you added your different competencies, such as your communication, both written and presentation, and any other competencies that you have selected that's going to be key in you procuring your ideal job. Well, at the bottom of that grid, you're going to have what's called your present job market value score. This score is a combination of your self-assessed score, your score that's given to you by your peers, as well as the benchmark, and the benchmark is usually 100%. And as you look at this grid, this self-assessment grid for evaluation, there comes a graph that's going to be part of this grid. So in this graph, it shows you your strengths. So if my competency is strong, then I'm going to be closer to 100%, and this is moving horizontal. If my competency is a, is a little bit weak or need improvement, I'm going to move a little bit further to the left or closer to zero. So now we can clearly see, based upon our true present job market value, those competencies that are very strong and those competencies that might need a little bit of improvement versus those competencies that are very weak. So we have to ask ourselves, where do I want to spend my time? For instance, if I decide I want to be a left-hand reliever for the New York Yankees, it's going to be kind of hard for me to do because number one, I'm not left-handed, I'm right. However, I'm pretty quick and fast at running and stealing bases, and I'm a pretty good hitter. So it would behoove me to spend more time on my hitting skills and my running skills than on me trying to improve being a left-hand pitcher. And so you have to ask these same questions. As you look at your selected job that you have selected that you want to procure, what are the primary skills that are going to be most important in me landing this job? Is communication going to be more important than maybe my uh, information or technology? Is my problem solving going to be a little bit more than my uh, analysis and being able to work in a team environment? You have to make that determination based upon your selected job description. And once you have done that, now you have to see what competencies do I want to improve and what competencies are good to go. And that's where you want to focus and spend your time on. So let's recap. What have we learned? We learned the importance of looking at our present job market value and really analyzing it to see where our strengths, weaknesses are in relation to our graph, better known as the dashboard. So looking at this dashboard, I'm able to determine by looking at it what I'm strong, closer to the right, being 100%, versus where I'm weak, closer to the left, going towards zero, and determining where I want to spend my time to improve upon those selected skills or competencies. What's coming up next, we're going to talk about self-coaching versus professional coaching. Thank you, and I look forward to seeing you in our next video.